Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another video with Life with May May. For some of you that watch, I know you probably missed me. I've been chilling out. I've been going through some things with this teeth. Um, you guys are following me. Uh, I have been dealing with this tooth. I got a whole, um, I need a root canal. So I got a hole at the top. Then I was telling my dentist, the bottom, the bottom one was bothering me right underneath. He was thinking it's because of that tooth. And I was thinking like, no, what do that got to do with the bottom teeth? Unbeknownst to me, well, unbeknownst to them, I got a hole in that one. So I got to call them because they already want to charge me 515 for the top. And then, um, cause my dental insurance ran out because of all the work I had done this year. Cause when we meet a certain uh, limit, um, then the rest we have to pay. So I ate up a lot of it getting work done. So, and I ain't uh, mad about it cause I needed it. So now I gotta pay. So I don't know what they're gonna charge me for the bottom one. I know, um, like I said, the top one, it's 525 or something. And it's crazy. Now they want all their money before they do it. So they say you can pay half when you set up the appointment. And when it's time for you to come in for your appointment, you got to pay the other half. It's like, really? But yeah, that's how it is. So I ain't mad at them. Somebody must did them wrong. So you know I take one bad apple. But yeah, so... I'm on antibiotics and it's the infection in that tooth with the hole and it's making it hurt. So every time I eat something or drink something cold, most of the time, I know it's coming, but gotta eat and gotta drink uh, to keep the quench of my thirst. So how you guys been doing out there? I pray everybody's doing well. Woke up uh, another day. You got another chance to get it right. Those who didn't w wake up this morning, I pray they knew Jesus because like I was saying in my previous video, we all got to attend or to be held accountable. And that's one appointment that we won't miss. So this is not our home. You know, we're just passing through. So we just try to live the best we can, treat people right, and uh, be good to one another and ourselves. But most of all, Jesus, living, uh, living by his rules, sometimes get hired. Sometimes we all fall short by the wayside. But as long as we get back up, that's what counts. So, yeah, so I just thought about you guys. It's, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, 51 degrees here. And Holland, where I live, um, sun is shining. It's like an okay day. It's still kind of chilly, though. But it's an okay day out here. It's kind of windy, though. And I just washed my truck. And, uh, all that dirt and from the leaves and stuff blew on there and stuck on there. So might have to rewash it again because we going to Detroit Saturday. That's the road trip. It's gonna be a quick in and out. Just gotta tie up a few loose ends for my dad. And yeah, guys, he's doing great at the nursing home. I took him from Detroit and moved him up in Zealand. Beautiful, nice and clean. People working, doing a job, clean place up-to-date place the grounds are really nice but for the most part the workers are good you know you got a couple scragglers but you know i can't really complain you know it's way better than where he came from and he's happy and that's the most important thing he's making progress he want to work hard and be able to get up and get out of there and get on his own it's a slow process but he's doing good and i see the progress he's only been there um, he got there on the 5th of September, so 5th of October, a month, going on two months, so God is good. Um, he's, he moving his hand, right hand more, but that left leg still can't really move it. Um, he has sensation in it, so good Lord's will to get that to moving. He'll be good. And, you know, his uh, speech, you know, is delayed, you know, somewhat, and then he get confused sometimes, so. Um, and I also got granted power of attorney. Finally got my papers back, signed, sealed, and delivered. So if it do come a time like now, certain stuff he can't talk for himself, then that's where I come in at. So I thank God that he came back in my life. He left years ago when I was five, six, seven years old. Then I didn't see him again until I was 29. Then a couple of years after that, it was off and on. But 
I'm thinking for like the last 16, 17 years, it's been um, a constant relationship. So I'm thankful for that because most females know if you don't have your dad, you pick the wrong guys every time, especially if you had a good dad. And my dad was a good dad. He just was a womanizer. But other than that, he was a good father. He wasn't a good husband. So, yeah, but I'm grateful and thankful for that. I always wanted him to come back or come up here with me, and he kept putting it off. But, you know, I, God uh, blessed it to happen, but kind of sad it happened this way. But I'm kind of glad because I could watch over him. He don't have nobody else. So I have a brother, but he not really active in it. You know, it's me. Then I got my husband to lean on, and he helps me out with him time to time. So do my brother Terry. So grateful and thankful for that. But June Bug, yeah, that's another story, you know. He asks about him, you know. He try to give whenever he can, but physically seeing him, no, he haven't saw him since he's been up here. But he didn't really see him anyways. I saw him more, so me and his relationship was closer, so. But, yeah, so I'm out and about paying uh, bills. Um, right now I'm on my way to Burlington. Look for my nephew, my great nephew, and my great niece. Uh, something for their birthday. My nephew's birthday is on Saturday, the twenty second. He'll be ten years old. And then my great niece's birthday is on the twenty fourth, and she'll be nine. And then the mother, which is my niece. Oh, how old would she be? Thirty five, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think 35, because my daughter, Naisha, is 38. She's three years older than her, so yeah, 35. And then um, my brothers, which is the grandfather and the father, his birthday is the 23rd Sunday. He'll be 53. So yeah, four birthdays. And then my uncle Willis' birthday was the 14th. So, yeah, so a lot of birthdays, a lot of birthdays, a lot of birthdays. But, yeah, so this is what our little mall looking like, West Shore Mall. It has a couple of different stores in here. I don't have many. Um, back in the day, this used to be the outlet over here in Holland. And that used to be popping. Um, I came when it was still open for the last year or two in 2000. After that, they closed it. I still don't know why, because that, that was a lot of good stores in there. But, yeah, we got the GRCC Lakeshore Campus. Oh, yeah, we got the PNC Bank, the mattress firm. Then here we got a lot of little restaurants, the FedEx, Burlington, Urban Air. So it's a lot of little places in here. Michigan Works. Yeah, it's a lot of different buildings in here, so. Yeah, so this used to be the mall with all the stores. Now they got the campus in here, urban air. And then they got Chipotle over here, crumble cookie. That's what I'm going to have to try. Yep, go get my crumble cookie. Do my uh, uh, pictorial or my shorts. So this is urban air. Then we got Dunham's. Then we got Michigan Works. Then we got X Golf. Then we got the GNC store. Yeah, they got a lot of stores in here, though. And over here, Pop Belly. Charles Swab. I think that's a, like, investment thing or something. That's the FedEx. But, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm going to go in here and see what I can get. And if I don't come back today, I'll be back tomorrow. I go to the nurse. I'm going to see my dad tomorrow. So that's always fun. And I'll take you guys with me, um, especially Saturday, to the D, Detroit. So, you guys, stay tuned for another video or another vlog with May May. Life with May May. You guys, take care. Peace.